All right, here we go, everybody. This is the osmometer experiment. What we're going to do is take two dialysis bags that are tied to the end of these tubes that measure fluid in milliliters. And we're going to put an 80% solution of molasses in one and a 20 or 25% solution of molasses in the other bag in the tube. And then we're going to, once we fill those up, we try to get them right at zero if we can which I did in this particular experiment. And then we're gonna push those osmometers, that dialysis bag into a beaker of water. And then we wait, we start at time zero and um, we're going to wait. And every 30 minutes, we're gonna record where the osmometer level is at. So it's a pretty good idea for you to get this chart handy here, this table, so you can write down the experiment data as to where the osmometer is at a particular time. And our first reading will be at 30 minutes. And since this is in hyperlapse mode, uh, it will come up much faster. Look at how crazy fast these fish are moving right here because it's in a high speed mode that we're recording. Anyway, get ready because coming up in just a few seconds here will be your 30 minute reading spot where you want to record your data. Okay, so we'll wait until we get to the next 30 minute mark for a total of 60 minutes. And it's probably a good idea to think about what's happening in this experiment. Um, what's going on? Is the fluid level in the osmometer going up? Is it going down? Is it going faster in one tube versus another tube? And if so, why? And is it changing as time goes on? And this particular case on the day that I did this, we used 80% molasses and 25% molasses, but sometimes we use 80% and 20%. Um, I've even seen 90% and 20%. Um, that's not really significant. What's important is the fact that they are different by quite a bit. Um, so you might want to think about what's happening in this experiment and what's going on that produces the change. Okay, so once again, we're coming up to where you'll record your data. So you might want to get your data sheet ready and I'll zoom in here so you can see where the fluid levels are at the 60 minute mark.
Okay, we're coming up on about the 120 minute mark. Um, actually, I had to do a little bit shorter because I ran out of room. So we'll call that 28.5 at the top. And so we'll end it there. And that is the osmometer experiment, a two hour experiment done in six minutes. Consider subscribing for more videos like this. Either way, make sure you look up the word dynamic equilibrium as it applies to this experiment. Basically at the end, although it appears nothing is changing, molecules are still moving in to the dialysis bag, but they end up moving out at about the same speed. Hence dynamic equilibrium.